Remember when a full charge meant like 5 hours of YouTube, browsing and phone calls? Those were the dark ages my friends. This is new tank 3 with its ridiculous 23,800 mAh battery. Does it just break boundaries or rewrite the rules entirely? In this video I'm going to show you everything you want to know about the latest rocket phone, the 8849 Tank 3, a battery beast with enough juice to power a small village and your YouTube habit for a month. We'll explore its rugged nest monster specs and see how it handles cameras, gaming videos and that insane battery life, including my signature battery charging and drain test. This review has been brewing for a while, fueled by your epic comments and requests, so huge thanks for your patience because Tank 3 deserves a deep dive and that's exactly what we're about to give it. But before we unleash these beasts on the world, let's crack open this box and see what's inside. So the box reveals the phone itself generously wrapped in a plastic sleeve. The hefty device definitely makes a first impression with its substantial size. It has pre-applied vinyl screen protector already safeguarded in the display. For those seeking additional peace of mind, a spare protector and application tools are also included. The box also houses the essential documentation including manuals and warranty certificates. Finally, powering this beast is a formidable 120 watts charger capable of delivering lightning fast energy replenishment. A standard USB C cable completes the package. But hold on, guys, in a secondary box we uncover a screen protector and a protective case. I mean, this phone is built like a tank, but double protection all the way. The phone's got the chops to withstand anything you throw at it. It's built like a tank with shock absorbing TPU body, an aluminium alloy frame and IP68, IP69K and military standard 810H ratings. That means it can handle dust, water, shocks, drops and even extreme temperatures. I knew the tank 3 could handle it so I took it for a swim. I splashed it through a shallow part of the river and it handled the wet like a champ, not a single leak or shudder. This this tank is built for adventure, but we're not gonna test that in this video. Instead, let's focus on the other stuff this phone has to offer. I thought the Tank 3 would have a video projector, like its predecessor, the Tank 2, but surprise, surprise, it doesn't. Instead, it has a built in laser rangefinder that doubles as a laser measure tape. This makes it a handy tool for builders and handymen and it still packs some serious processing power and flagship specs, so it's like a cross between a Nintendo Switch and a laser measure tape. This phone is a hefty beast, weighing in on 666 grams, which is more than the iPhone 15 Pro. The front of the phone is dominated by a 6.79 inch FHD Plus display protected by Panda Glass. There's a punch hole selfie camera in the top center and the bezels are pretty chunky. The rear of the phone steals the show with its hexagonal camera module. Packed within are four cameras, dual LED flash, four infrared lights for night vision and a super strong camping light flanked by blue and red emergency lights for unexpected situations. And the lanyard attachment point resides on the bottom frame and there's a USB-C for charging and a headphone mini jack socket and a microphone. The left side houses volume rockers and two programmable buttons, a red one and a metal grey one for customizable shortcuts. Moving to the right frame we find a SIM tray with the SD card slot for storage and a power button with its embedded fingerprint sensor. Finally, the top frame plays host to the infrared blaster and the laser rangefinder. So, who is this phone for? Well, on one hand, it's perfect for anyone who needs a phone that can take a beating, like construction workers, hikers, scuba divers and anyone else who spends time in harsh environments. But on the other hand, it also has some seriously impressive specs, making it a compelling option for hardcore gamers. The display is a 6.79 inch IPS panel with a resolution of 2460 by 1080 pixels and smooth 120 Hz refresh rate. 
It's built by TCL, a popular phone brand in the US. The display settings are pretty standard with options for brightness, nightlight, dark theme, adaptive brightness, screen saver, screen timeout, etc. etc. By default, the refresh rate is set to 90 Hz, but you can bump it up to 120 Hz. So no 60 Hz mode here. Now let's deep dive into the heart of this phone, the Monster 23800 mAh battery. The manufacturer claims a week's battery life on his phone, but today we're putting it to the test in a brutal battery stress test. For a deeper dive into battery drain and charging test, including temperature monitoring, check out the separate video linked in the description below. But here's the short story. I ran the 4K video recording at max display brightness for 10 hours straight, draining only 58 percent of the battery. So video recording is done, time for some laid back YouTube browsing, right? Let's see how long this beast can stream some YouTube shorts. I streamed YouTube shorts for a total of 24 hours and the phone finally died after almost 34 hours. That's 10 hours video recording and 24 hours streaming. Recharging this beast with the included 120 watt ultra fast charger took just 1 hour and 45 minutes, matching the time required to fully charge the iPhone 15 Pro. Now that's impressive for a behemoth like this. Now let's check the camera department. But before we carry on, make sure you're subscribed. First up, we got a quad camera set up on the back. 200 megapixel sensor, sounds crazy, but the pics are actually crispy. Like Detail City up in here. Ultra wide's decent at 50 megapixels, but there's some annoying fish eye distortion to deal with. Comparing the main camera in Tank 3 to recent flagships like the Pixel 8 and iPhone 15 Pro reveals some noticeable differences. Alright, video time. 4K digital stabilization sounds good, right? But compared to flagships like the Pixel 8 or iPhone 15 Pro, which boast super smooth optical image stabilization and wider dynamic range, the Tank 3's 4K footage visibly suffers from wobbliness and an oversaturated look. This isn't an entirely fair comparison due to the significant price gap. No one expects a phone like the Tank 3 to match the video quality of high end flagships. Let's check the night vision. While the Tank 3's night photos and videos can be impressive, occasional focus issues can lead to blurry results. However, it still offers a unique capability that stands out. Packing a 50 megapixel sensor, the front facing camera is more than capable of capturing selfies and 4K or 8K video calls. So the initial setup is pretty straightforward, just like any other Android phone. You'll need to log into your Google account and you'll find the usual Google apps along with some rugged specific ones like Toolbox and Zaza Remote. By the way, we got here a fingerprint reader, functional, but let's be real, who has time for that? Face unlock, that's a game changer, blazing fast, super reliable, one glance, boom, you're in. The settings menu is pretty extensive with 22 groups of options. The most important ones include network and internet, connected devices, intelligent assistance, battery storage, sound and vibration and display. There's also a dedicated laser rangefinder app that explains how it works and lets you measure distances, areas, volumes and Pythagorean stuff. The Tank 3 packs a powerful MediaTek Dimensity 8200 chipset, offering solid performance and efficiency which will put to the test. It's got an octa-core CPU, an octa-core GPU and a generous 16GB of RAM, virtually expandable to 32GB. It also has a 512GB of built-in storage, expandable by a microSD up to 2TB capacity. The phone has a dual SIM slot and supports 5G on both SIM cards. It also supports NFC for contactless payments and has infrared blaster. The phones and two to scores of over 912,000 are typical for Dimensity 8200 chipset and its Geekbench results are also solid. But let's see how it performs in the real world scenarios. This is one of the most popular racing games, the Asphalt 9 Legends. The settings are on the maximum and as you can see the phone runs smoothly even in the busy moments. Not a single hiccup. 
Next up, the Call of Duty Mobile, cranked to the max. The system caps is at the highest graphics and 90 frames per second, but trust me, that's still pure pleasure to play. It's buttery smooth and responsive. Just one heads up for bad gamers, this beast is hefty. Hold it over your face at your own risk. A black eye from your phone isn't exactly the kind of war story you want. So 2D games on this beast is like a putting a Formula 1 engine in a go-kart. Sure, it will work, but is it gonna blow your mind? Probably not. So let's focus on where the tank 3 truly shines. The demanding, the frame rate crushing, the make all the phones sweat games. So let's chase some chicken dinners in PUBG. Highest graphics, 90 FPS locked in, even though the display can handle 120 Hz. The graphics is smooth and detailed. Rough landing, no gone, and bullets singing in my ears. Right, I snagged an MG. This phone makes PUBG a dream, especially with a good team. Chicken dinner is practically guaranteed. Alright, Tank 3, let's see what you're really made of. Time for Genshin Impact, one of the most demanding games that migrated from PC to the mobile battlefield. Default settings? No, I don't think so. We're cranking everything up to the max. I even got a warning about overheating, but hey, sacrifices must be made in the name of ultimate quality, right? So let's see if this Tank 3 can truly be the undisputed mobile gaming champion. Sure, there might be occasional frame drop, but overall it's smooth sailing. So the Tank 3 is not your ordinary phone. Forget fancy designs, this beast is built tough with a huge battery and powerful processor. And if you need a phone that can take a beating, this would be your champion. The Tank 3 joins a quirky lineup from 8849, a new brand evolved from Unihertz in 2023. If you want to check this one out, it rings up for around $500 US on AliExpress. Links in the video description. However, if the Tank 3 can't fit in your pocket anymore, the Tank Mini is coming in January and I will give you a full review like this one. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys on the next one.